the CEOs of GM, Ford, and Chrysler will be back before Congress today to ask for $25 billion. They say they need or will go out of business. Yet that hasn't stopped them from traveling in style. Even first class isn't good enough for those three. The man boarding this $36 million private luxury jet at the Detroit airport is the CEO of General Motors, Rick Wagoner, on his way to Washington to cry poor to tell Congress that GM is burning through cash and will fail unless taxpayers bail out the auto industry with 10 to 12 billion dollars for GM alone. We want to continue to play the vital role we've played for America for the past 100 years, but right now, in today's circumstances, we can't do it alone. As Wagoner testified, his G4 private jet was parked at Dulles Airport, one of eight luxury jets in the GM fleet this is a slap in the face to the taxpayers to come to Washington on a corporate jet and ask for a handout is outrageous. Wagoner's private jet trip to Washington Tuesday morning cost GM an estimated $20,000 round trip. Northwest Airlines Flight 2364 left at 1017 yesterday morning from Detroit for Washington, $288 coach round trip, $837 first class. Wagon, who was paid almost $16 million last year, wasn't eager to talk about the private jet. Mr. Wagner, Brian, Brian Ross, ABC News, how are you? How are you? Question for you about your private jet. You say, about, sorry, about the private jet you travel in. You say you're willing to make sacrifices. What about traveling in private jets? Why do you do that? do absolutely limit it to urgent, urgent situations. You got, you got your big jet part here? Could you not have flown a commercial? Sir? Had other meetings early this morning in Detroit, actually. And it's not just the GM CEO. This is Ford's CEO, Alan Mulally. As part of his employment contract with Ford, Mulally not only was paid $28 million last year, but he only travels on private jets, and his wife gets to travel that way too. Mulally was at the same hearing before Congress Tuesday, where he made the case for taxpayer billions by talking of expenses he's cut. We have taken out that excess capacity that we talked about earlier, closing 17 plants and reducing our workforce by 51,000 employees. Yet Ford continues to operate a fleet of eight private jets for its executives. Malali walked away when asked about the private luxury travel. Are you prepared to sacrifice your private jet, sir? Private jet travel is perhaps the greatest perk of all for corporate CEOs, who say it allows them to travel more efficiently and safely, even if there is a recession. The troubled insurance company AIG despite the $150 billion in taxpayers' money it got, still operates a fleet of corporate jets out of this airport in New Jersey. The company says it has put two of its seven jets up for sale and is reviewing the use of others. But there are no such plans for Ford or GM. It appears that the senior management of the automakers simply don't get it. Ford and GM say the decision for their CEOs to travel by private jets is a corporate decision, non-negotiable. They must travel that way, even as the companies say they're running out of cash. Robin and Diane. Non-negotiable, huh? I, I have a question for you, Brian. Uh, do the heads of Toyota and Honda use private jets? Is this simply something that the taxpayers should accept? Well, we tried to check that out and couldn't find the answer, but we do know they're not asking for $25 billion in taxpayers' money to stay in business.